Number five, rent the runway, continuing to transform the way women shop, dress, and now decorate their homes. The five-time disruptor now is worth a billion dollars with 11 million members. Number four, Grab. The Southeast Asian giant is expanding far beyond ride sharing, now a platform for everything related to transportation with partnerships with the likes of Microsoft, expanding its reach into financial services and insurance. Number three, the We Company. It rebranded from WeWork earlier this year as the co-working company pushes into apartments, hotels, and retail. Recently valued at $47 billion, the company took its first step to file to go public. WeWork is always ready for an IPO. We will choose the right time to do it when it's correct for the mission of the company. Number two, Didi Xuxing. Far more than just the Uber of China, Didi offers a dozen transportation options to 550 million users around the world, while its big data arm called Didi Brain tackles traffic and logistics. And number one, Indigo Ag, a $3.5 billion agricultural technology startup that mixes microbiology with artificial intelligence to improve yield, sustainability, and profits for growers of commodity crops like cotton and corn. Last year, it introduced a digital platform connecting growers and buyers, tracking indigo crops from seed to table. We have to be able to connect consumers and the buyers of that grain with the farmers that produce it. You can find our full list at cnbc.com slash disruptors and take a look at the rest of the top 10, including Airbnb at number seven. It's making the list for the seventh time. It's also the only Silicon Valley startup in the top 10. GoodRx and Casper make the list for the first time. Same with Xiaohong Shu, the Chinese social media and e-commerce platform. It came in at number 10. Now, this is the first time that more than half of the Disruptor 50 list come from outside the Silicon Valley region. And in part, that's because we just saw so many IPOs of some of the giants such as Lyft and Uber. And in terms of country representation, did China sort of pick up? Yes, well, we had three companies um, coming from China. We also had a company from Singapore. So uh, interesting diversity and also diversity around the United States. We had a number of companies in Boston as well as Chicago. Uh, and uh, Julia, Didi and, and we clearly are a lot bigger than Indigo at number one. So, so what are the factors that get Indigo to the top? So we look at a number of different factors, including how fast these companies are growing. And we get data from these companies as well as uh, from a number of outside sources, but also how big the market is that they're disrupting. So a range of quantitative and qualitative metrics are all combined here as we, as we calculate where they should fall on the list. But the ag tech industry is so massive and just at the beginning of disruption. We, we always talk about how all these companies are, are staying private longer and therefore the, the, num the total amount of their valuations has risen compared to if we snapshot of this, say, 10 years ago. What are the trends over the last year or two? Well, we just had uh, six of the last year's Disruptor 50 go public, an additional mm -hmm. two were purchased. So if you go public, you're purchased, you graduate from the list. And we are expecting a number of this year's list to go public. In the next year, there are about six that we think are, are likely to have an IPO in yeah. the next 12 months or Casper, so. Casper, Peloton. Exactly.